videos, I showed you how I was going to drywall over original plaster. And that's what we have here is drywall over original plaster. But when you do that, you have a half inch drywall sticking out from your original trim. So what I did is I got the table saw out and I cut a piece of pine, half inch by half inch. And I put that around the door. So that pads this out to where the original wall should be with the drywall. It's going to add an extra dimensional line on the trim right here, but that'll actually look nice once it's painted. And I'm just putting the original door casing on top and probably the same two original vertical pieces going down the sides. So it's real simple. Once you put that drywall on there, all you have to do is add those half inch pieces of wood around your door frame. You know, use a level and everything. Make sure they're nice and square and plumb and it'll look good as new. All right, if you've ever recycled trim before, you know you have to deal with nails. Uh, you can either, you now with finished nails, which is what most trim is put up with, you can take a pair of vice grips or some really big channel locks and pull them out from the back side, not the front side. You don't want to hammer them through. Once you, if you hammer these through, you're going to bust up the front of the boards and just totally ruin them and give yourself a lot more work. So pull them out from the back side if you're going to pull them out. That's a must. Otherwise, you'll have tons of holes to fill in and they'll come right out. Or what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to take a Dremel tool and, and cut them off. And then I don't know what I did with my big channel logs. I think they're outside in the truck. But anyway, I'm going to cut these off with this today because that's the simple thing to do. There you go. No pulling, no hammering, no extra holes. Just cut the babies off of there. I got the original door casing and baseboard back on here. And I've started building one of the cabinets that's going to hold cars. That's the back side you're looking at. It's going to stand up right there vertically, pretty much where it's laying. And then now I've started building the doorway. That's going to attach to this. And then we're going to have another shelf unit in here and another shelf unit here around the corner. I can't wait. When I get done with these shelf units, i start finish painting the room. All right, all the major carpentry is about wrapped up. I've got all the main structure for the shelf units put in place. As you go around the corner here, I've got everything put together. Just need to put the shelves in. I'm gonna put shelves in here so we can line cars up this way, park them in here going this way across. Probably fit at least 10 cars on each shelf, it looks like, on this side. That way. And then I'm going to put them the same way on this side. Also, this will maybe hold 20 cars on this one, possibly, on each shelf. And then over here, we'll have another unit. This one's not as wide, so all the cars will be parked this way. I'm going to put my auto world, I think, I think my auto world collection right there because I don't have a huge amount of those. So that'll fill up that space and then matchbox and hot wheels in the other two spots. I also got the door frame all ready to go. All I have to do is uh, put a door stop piece of wood around here for the door to shut against and then mortise my hinges and put this door in there. And um, that's no big deal. That's ready to go. Still got to box in the ugly vent that you see up there. Next step will be to paint all of my plywood. I'm going to primer that all the same color green. But I got a Hot Wheels blue color. I'm going to paint all the shelf units the Hot Wheels blue, I believe. So that uh, one more day. One more day I think I can have the shelf units put together. Have all those pieces painted and then paint the rest of the room and put the floor down. I'm getting there, probably by next week. Thanks for keeping up to date with all the progress. Stay safe out there, and I will be talking to you soon.